I look like either I've just been electrocuted or I just saw something very surprising. I just got out of the shower. I took a shower. I have not done my hair. Somebody said, hey, I want to see how you do your hair in the morning. So you want to see that? I think I did it a long time ago. Now it's starting to get a little bit long. I want it to be a little bit shorter than this. As you can see, once it starts getting this long, it starts being a bit weird. So here's all I do. I use Suave, Suave, uh, volumizing mousse, number eight. And I use a little bit of that. It looks like shaving cream, but it's not. You know, it depends on how much hair I have. That's about how much I'll use. And I just smear around here. You can skip forward to the shaving if you want to. And let me talk about what I'm gonna be shaving with. So I've got this huge uh, carry-on luggage, the soft-sided suitcase that whenever I put uh, products that I don't use, away, I put them in there in that suitcase. All right, then I just kind of start st styling my hair. See, I kind of do it forward. And then I kind of go towards the middle and a little bit up in the front. That's the secret to doing my hair, I guess. And then that's close enough. That looks pretty good. And then I use some Suave, some Suave Max Hold Ocho. Got to use the Ocho. That's the key. 10 is too much. And it's too much. Stick with the Ocho. So I use a little bit of that. Done. That's how I do my hair in the morning. <laughs> so, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my own hair, um, yeah, I don't know about this dramatic lighting, but we're going to go with it because we do it every summer. We go with this. So I need to go through there and just find stuff I haven't used in a long time, bring it out, show it to you. So I'm going to show you, first of all, I just now dumped out the whole thing in a huge pile on my bed. I haven't sorted it. It's like it's this deep. There's a lot of stuff going on. So here's what that looks like with a little help from my friend Cinnamon. Just so you guys don't think I'm kidding about all this stuff I've got to go through. Hi, Cinnamon. Look at this pile of stuff. There's like razors all in there. There's, I don't even know what's underneath it all. I'm going to have to go through it, separate them all out so that I can figure out what I got. It's just so much stuff. So much stuff. So let's find something and shave with it, shall we? Yes. Woof. So that's what we're up against, folks. That's what we're up against. So what I've done is I chose a couple of things. Now, first of all, I haven't been given any love to old Grandpa Grungy here. My 19, what is it, 60 fat boy? Gosh, I sometimes forget. I'm so bad. I've shaved this thing for 11 years now. I still can't remember how old it is. It's an F3. So there you go. Grandpa Grungy with a feather blade. We're going to put the dial on six. I used to do it on seven, but now I've gotten, you know, in my old age, I've had to kind of mellow out a little bit, you know. You don't want a shaving hangover, as they don't say. All right. Oh, that's like six and, a, and an eight. Let's go six. Dead on. There we go. Good old Grandpa Grungy. 1960 fat boy. Gillette. My first safety razor. Knocked it out of the park. Got lucky. First try. And then I found the soap I'm going to use is from Fena. This is the Greek company, and this is Taurus. Oh, I should take the top off and you can smell it. What does it smell like? It just smells very pleasant. I'm not sure. It says milk formula on it. Shaving soap milk formula. And du, 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 du. yeah, it doesn't say what, what scent it is. Just it's Taurus scent. It's a little bit, it's a small puck, and we're going to lather up with that. And then the brush I'm going to use, let me get some hot water in here, is a 3D printed brush that my old friend Bob of Space Soap fame sent me uh, a little while back. It's a rocket ship. It's a rocket ship, and it says Sinatra Space Soap Lennon. And it's a little synthetic brush. He just 3D printed it, little rocket ship, taken off to the moon. Ooh, it kind of looks like the, the Jeff Bezos capsule thing, right? No comments. I know what you're thinking. Just let's raise the level of conversation in the room, shall we, folks? Okay. And then for the, oh, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to use in the end for my, uh, for the uh, aftershave. It's just going to have to be a secret. Yeah, you're not going to have any idea. <laughs> it's my little trick. All right. So I took a shower. You saw me do my hair. There is proof now that I don't just slap a wig on. I'm going to put some hot water on my face. Not too hot. I just finished mowing the mowing the lawn. Although it's been a oh my gosh, we had a slight cool front come through yesterday with some storms or like a night before last, and it cooled things right down to the upper 80s Fahrenheit here. So 
And then hundreds are on their way back. So I, I use this day to, to get out there and, and, and mow the yard. Although I don't mind getting out there and getting all sweaty and nasty. That's part of the fun, I think. There's something just very satisfying about mowing your lawn and being done with it at the end and sitting there on their back porch with a tall glass of ice water. Look at all, survey the land before you. <laughs> all right, let's lather up, shall we? So yes, this, this is a nearly one of a kind brush. I think he sent me two and I may have given one away, I don't know. But this one actually has my name on it, Sinatra Linen. And uh, yeah, it's just a fun little thing. So thanks again, Bob. I don't know if he's ever gonna start the space soap up again, but it's good stuff. I hope he get, got in on it for the couple of years that he was doing it, but uh, all good things must pass, as George Harrison once said. Grandpa Grungy with a brand new feather blade. Gonna get him wet down in there, and let's go for it. I don't even feel the blade. And I think, now that I think about it, I think that's what I like about Grandpa Grunchy, Grunchy, Grandpa Grungy. And uh, <laughs> that was his name before he came through Ellis Island, you know, and they anglicized it. They made it more American. It was Grunchy, you know, and then he, they had to change it to Grungy, you know. You know how it is. It's an age old story. That's what, now that I'm thinking about it, that's what I like about this razor and other razors like it, like the Rockwell or the Murica or whatever. And what I dislike about the razors like the Mula R41 or even that copper one that I used uh, last time. I don't like feeling the blade, like almost, it's, it's a strange thing. And if you've never used a razor that was that aggressive or had, you know, a large blade gap, then uh, if you haven't done that, then you might not know what I'm talking about. And I think that a really good razor, even with a large blade gap, doesn't have to feel like you're just got like this little razor blade bouncing along your face. Now, it's not quite that bad. It's being a bit hyperbolic, but I like feeling as if the, the razor head is, is one solid instrument, you know? All the components are working together in such a way that I talk like this. No, that I, that it, you know, it just feels good. And I don't think too much about it. And I don't get nicked too much. Now, Grandpa Grungy always nicks me just because, you know, that's his M.O. That's the way he always has been. And I don't fault him for that. Somebody, uh, speaking of that old, that cop, not old, but that copper razor that I used last time, they said, here's what you should do. Take one of those, um, you know, washers that are now being sold. I think uh, Mantic 59 sells them. It's a little tiny, like, I don't know if it's nylon or some sort of, it's not plastic, but it's that sort of a malleable plastic that you put underneath. And when you screw the two top pieces down of a three piece razor, it keeps the handle from scraping the bottom of the head. So they said, do that. That'll add a little bit of a, uh, uh, like a different feel to it. And then tighten it all the way down and then do like, you know, adjust it just a little bit less, like loosen it just a little bit to give you a bigger blade gap. And, and so I tried that and it just became really, really aggressive. And I was get, just getting nicks right and left. And this, I wouldn't even talk in during the shave. I was just shaving. And so I kept messing with it and I tightened it back up, and, you know, and eventually I just went with it fully tightened and with a little nylon ring on it, you know, whatever that thing is, whatever plastic ring. And I still didn't like it. I love the way that razor looks. I just don't like the way it shaves. I don't like the way it shaves. So that one is in the big grab bag pile. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find some boxes now. I gotta get some cardboard box. Second pass, by the way. And since I've already used this soap before, Lord knows when, I have no idea. It's been a while, I'm sure. But if you go back, you can find it. Taurus. Good stuff. Feels good. The Fena, uh, like I said, it's made in Greece, which is kind of cool. It was sent to me, I believe, by a gentleman who lives in Greece. That's one place I've never been. I would love to go. I would love to go there. That blue water and that those bright white stucco buildings, you know? At least that's my perception of it, you know, as a geographically challenged Texan. Now, I, there's a bit of a 
hair from the brush. That was not a nose hair. That was a brush hair. <laughs> Nine inch long nail comes out of my nose. Nine inch long nail, is that what I said? Strap, what is it? Scratch that, reverse it. What does Willy Wonka say? When he said we got so much time and so little to do. Wait, stop. Scratch that, reverse it. I can't remember what he said. The original Willy Wonka, by, by the way, if you haven't seen the Gene Wilder version of uh, Willy Wonka, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, please go watch that and don't watch the Johnny Depp version. <laughs> In fact, I'm taking Johnny Depp to court because he released that version of Willy Wonka, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I'm going to sue him for uh, uh, pain and suffering. Yeah. Is there anybody better? I mean... There are. But is there anybody better than Gene Wilder in this prime? Ah, oh, Gene Wilder, Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, Willy Wonka. I loved that guy so much, you know? Just one of those ones that warms your heart whenever you see him. One of those people. I hope he was a good guy. I think he probably was. Because it's always sad to learn that your heroes are... Act like jerks sometimes. I mean, we all do, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, there's the second pass. Ooh, getting smooth. Have I gotten nicked yet? Have you nicked me? Now that I'm talking about it, he's going to. Just watch. Just watch. He likes to, he likes to build up my confidence and then uh, knock me down a peg. Keeps me honest. You know how it is. So I took my youngest son, since my mom is recovering from the dreaded lurgy. She's doing good now. She doesn't feel bad anymore, so she's getting over it. Um, but she and I were going to go see uh, Lucas Nelson. So that's Willie Nelson's son, one of his two sons. I think he only has two sons, Micah and Lucas. Anyway, went and saw him at a uh, venue called Stubbs Barbecue, Stubbs Amphitheater. So check that out if you live in another part of the world you want to see where we were hanging out last night. So it was just my son and I, and we saw Lucas Nelson. It was great. If you're not hip yet to Willie's son, Lucas, oh. And can I tell you the one song that is my... I, it's, it's already, I believe, just an absolute classic. I love it. It's called Just Outside of Austin. So if you get a chance, you want to get a feel for, like, hanging out on the back porch with me on a cool night... You know, maybe having some scotch, listening to some music, play just outside of Austin. And that'll kind of give you kind of a cool, kind of mellow hill country vibe that we have here. Sometimes, sometimes you're able to grab a hold of that. I think that song captures it beautifully. It's sentimental. It's relaxing. It's beautifully sung. Lucas Nelson has the voice of an angel. Sounds like his dad's voice, but a little bit, uh, he's got a little bit more control and smoother, you know. But anyway, if you hear him and his two sons harmonizing, which there are several videos of that, especially during quarantine, oh, that blood harmony. Have you ever heard of that term? It's like what the Bee Gees had. It's when people sing with members of their own family and because their voices and vocal cords are similar, it sounds just out of this world. Blood harmony. And I think some strangers can probably uh, achieve that as well. But I mean, look at the Beach Boys. I mean, that's there's blood harmony right there. You got all those brothers and cousins. My goodness. You know, it's nice to shave with old Grandpa Grungy. He just kind of sits there, you know, and gets overlooked a lot of times. He'll always be my favorite, though. Always be my favorite. Hey, if I've forgotten any shout-outs because I missed them in an email or in a comment, I apologize. Please leave a comment again that you, like, left that you wanted to shout out. I know there was like one or two that were in a comment and maybe at the time I wasn't, you know, in a place where I could copy the name down, you know, and remember it later. I looked through my phone today right before this, which is crazy. I never do that. I never remember to actually prepare anything. But, uh, so if you were waiting for a shout out and I haven't given it to you, please let me know again, okay? It's a very simple thing for me to do. But they do get away from me and I do forget I am fallible. And admitting that you're fallible is the first step. <laughs> What's the second step? I don't, you figure that out.
Mowed the yard, shaved my face, took a shower. Whew. Yeah, all right. Just take a moment for a breather, you know, just for a second. I'm gonna put some lukewarm water up. And then I'm gonna go one last little pass to the necessaries. And I did get a couple of nicks, I noticed. Hopefully they'll stop on their own. I don't think they will. But there we go. Oh, and just, uh, uh, a moment to remember all those kids in Uvalde, Texas the other day. As we end this school year, my own children in elementary school, just a thought for them and their families. Okay, cold water. Cold water, then we'll, then we'll uh, I was gonna say cool off. <laughs> oh no, I got my towel in my bowl. Not my toilet bowl, my, my little bin, my little basin, my little emesis basin. <laughs> I said bowl and I should be, I should clarify. The toilet's over there, not even, not even anywhere near where I am. Okay, now for the big reveal. I, I'm trying to make sure I don't have those little uh, nicks start back up on my face by doing this. It actually kind of helps, I think. I think it kind of shocks my blood vessels into going, cool. <laughs> but what do I know? All right, the big reveal, in case you didn't know. OC drug. Dumb joke. I know. I know. I'm corny. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ow. Oh. Oh. Dang. I don't think I've used Osage in a while either, and he's letting me know. This is still the original bottle that I bought all those years ago. How many years ago? I know you've all told me this, and I've asked this before, and I... Don't mind me. Don't answer. Don't answer. Anyway. Oh, I, I forgot how much I love that stuff. If you still haven't tried Osage Rub, it's good stuff. You know, i got to keep an eye on those little nicks, make sure they don't start back up. It's always a drag when I go up for car pickup, pick up the kids, and I look in the rear view mirror, and i got some dried blood all over. It's like, ah, dang it, I didn't check before I left. Anyway, thanks, everybody. That was it. So now i got to go find, like, if you go back and look at that huge pile of stuff that I've got in there, um, I need to find boxes. I need to, oh, look, here's one of those little rings I was telling you about. Gosh, I wish I'd seen that. See the little ring? That's what you put underneath the base of the thing so you don't scratch up your fancy new, your fancy new razor. Anyway, I need to find boxes, put soaps, uh, aftershaves, various accoutrements, blades, whatever, and, and then do like a grab bag of each. We'll see. I'll figure it out. That's what I always say, and hopefully it's what I always do. All right, everybody, have a great weekend. I love you all. I'm thinking about you all, and I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're doing well, and uh, yeah. I'll see y'all very soon.